So let's talk about anal glands today because a lot of customers will request that you express those anal glands on their dog. And so anal glands, dogs have those, it lets the, another dog know everything about that particular dog, the sex of the dog, the aggression of the dog, the age of the dog, <laughs> who's in charge, things like that. And so dogs will express those when they get startled, but in case they have an issue with it, and generally that starts either over diet, over nutrition, or because another groomer has started this process and so now that dog has no control over that themselves they lose that 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 strength in those to do that themselves now you'll see a dog scoot across the floor if I haven't said that already to release those but if a customer were to request that you do that this is what I'm going to recommend that you do first of all she's all over the place on me and I'm going to see if I can't stop that right now And so hold her, you get a good look here, yeah. hold that, you need to be able to see the area well, and then yeah. hold it up. If you don't smell anything, you know, you might want to just suggest to the customer they didn't need it if they don't need it. Because if you force something like this, you can either, I have never heard of rupturing those anal glands, but you can absolutely start a lot of, uh, a lot of sensitivity there and a lot of aggravation. So let's go ahead and do these. You want to grab the tail, lift it up nice and tight and high up over that bottom. I know, I'm, I'd rather not do this. And um, then get down at the, you got a 4 o'clock and an 8 o'clock, a 4 a four o'clock and an 8 o'clock. I can feel, barely feel those glands. I can barely feel them. And if they're really, really huge and you go to express them and nothing happens, stop before you do any kind of damage. It might, there might be another, another issue going on. Lift that tail up nice and tight. So we got everything, all that skin taut. Get your... Get your, this is going to look gross if anything comes out, your uh, 8 o'clock and your 4 o'clock and push directly up and in. And if there's anything in there, it's going to come out and nothing is. So hers are empty and so you didn't have to watch that on camera. Also keep everything out of the way because sometimes when they're that full, they will shoot out and it gets all over everything. So including your face. So stay out of the way of those. And you can certainly smell them once they've been released because they that's a real fishy odor you'll never forget it and so that's our that's our whole thing on anal glands thank you